Morning folks and Happy New Year to you. Just wanted to um, share some of my New Year's resolutions and also some of the things I've been thinking about over the last year. It's been a really interesting year. I've read 42 books. Most, when I say read, listen to, most of them are on Audible, but it has started to awaken me again which is which is really nice and I, I know I've rattled on a bit about not drinking um I think part of what's allowed me to read more consume more is just the extra headspace that, that that's created uh, that and combined with meditation which I think I've done about 120 sessions in the last sort of 125 days uh, which has made me feel really good so that's cool I was looking back, I always use Evernote to do my uh, resolutions, have done for the last few years. So I was looking back at previous resolutions uh, and they're all very outcome focused. It was all like, I want to earn this, I want to buy that. Um, some of it was, was stuff I want to do with the family. Um, even if I looked at health, it was about, I want to get to this body fat. Uh, it was all about making things very, very measurable. Um, which was it was very goal orientated and uh, this year it's going to be different I have got some goals that, that some specific goals that I want to attain but it's much more uh, about self-care self-love um, about becoming the person that I want to be uh, and I think if we get those bits right then everything else sort of takes care of itself uh, so I, I'm looking, in fact, one, uh, I talk about self-care, um, but then one of the things that I've signed up for the other day was an ultra marathon. I don't think there's anything self-caring in that at all. Uh, so there's definitely are some challenges in there as well. Um, I want to carry on doing meditation every day. Uh, I want to sort my back out. Uh, I'm going to not be, continue not drinking because that's made me feel uh, fabulous so that's continuing for the foreseeable future don't see that changing uh want to do a lot more running going to do more of the Wim Hof breathing because it just amazes me how you, such a simple thing can body hack so if you haven't looked at that before uh, Wim Hof um I think I mentioned meditation carry on eating a plant-based whole food diet which I love but doing that from a perspective point of view of, of curiosity all the amazing things that that I can cook and foodstuffs that I've never used before so when you transition from a meat-based to a plant-based diet it will make you feel great um, for, for many many reasons uh, but you might be giving up like eggs cheese chicken beef which could like freak you out a bit but you're replacing them with probably a hundred other products that you've never maybe never eaten before or eaten in very small amounts or there's so many different ways of cooking it. So what I have found over the last six months of eating quite strictly plant-based is that I've gone from probably having eight or nine sort of main go-to meals to, well, I don't think I've eaten the same thing two days in a row for, for six months. Sorry, I don't think I've eaten the same thing for, for six months. It's everything's been different. And I've been using the Forks Over Knives app, uh, which brings me nicely to apps. Uh, I've been using an app called Habit Share. Um, so you put down all your habits and you just tick them off when you've done them. It allows you to put notes in as well. Uh, and the thing which, this is probably a bit about the self-care thing as well, is that it's not all a sea of green, done, 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 done. Sometimes there's not quite done and sometimes there's red, like didn't do it. Uh, and actually the reds are as important as the greens because if I can have some reds and then carry on with greens the next day, I've not given up. Uh, life does get in the way it's not about all streaks all habits can come to an end at some point the key thing then is to start them again so that's been really good um, move GB that's been a great thing for this year as well um, but yeah as I said I, I want to focus on becoming more uh, giving more not having more because um, I don't need I just don't need any more stuff uh, I don't need going and lying on a beach in Bali isn't going to make me happy. People might think that's going to make them happy, but you know, won't make you happy. You get back from the beach in Bali and then what are you unhappy again? Um, new cars, they won't make you happy when you get them. Uh, there's so many more things that you can do. But probably more than anything else, I'm really excited about launching Transform at Rise. Uh, so 
just a fabulous opportunity to, to create a, a supporting group of people to move together um, through 2019 and beyond to really look at um, cultivating empowering positive habits happy habits uh, that make you feel great and really uh, leverage your life forwards and create some um, keystone habits uh, and a keystone habit for me would be something that you do that allows lots of other things to happen so for me that was stopping drinking um, that allowed me to up my exercise eat better uh, not have the off god crafty social cigarette to give myself much more headspace for meditation it, it, i didn't you know a lot of people said stopping drinking would have this sort of momentous thing with regards to how you feel uh, it, it wasn't because I didn't feel ill drinking. I just feel so much more capacity uh, not drinking, and I can still have fun as well. I guess that was evidence. Um, so yeah, transform rise. Looking for twenty people to join us uh, per month. Uh, we've got uh, Trish Tucker, uh, Trish Tucker May as a nutritionist. We've got Joe uh, Brocklow Gawthorpe uh, or. Gawthorpe Knee Broccolo doing the meditation and mindfulness and then the team at Rise doing uh, the uh, yoga and Pilates but we will be offering lots of other exercises as well to do as groups. So I just want to wish you all a, a wonderful new year, a self-caring new year, a year where you don't have to try and you know pay off all your debts and your mortgage or earn a hundred thousand pounds or get down to 10 percent body fat and put yourself under pressure and stress uh, a year to be beautiful to yourself and to other people uh, and to have a really fabulous time and hopefully uh, rise we can be part of that as well get out my pajamas now cheers bye